Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and today we're going to do a little jelly printing. Um, this one is a little different. We are going to try to recreate these flowers three different ways. So I used a sheet protector and slipped it behind that so that I could stick the jelly plate on there and have it stick and not slide around because I want it to stay still. And now I've marked all my papers with up and I'm aligning the bottom and the side so that um, I know where to place it each time. Sorry about my head. I just want to make sure I got it straight and it doesn't end up perfectly straight but as long as I keep putting them in the same place every time so you can see the left side's a little wider than the right as long as I keep putting them in the same spot every time hopefully this will work. So the first one is where you kind of work from the back to the front and I was trying to avoid the flower and just put blue in the background and this one you know not my prettiest to think <laughs> Anyways, I have tried this technique before um, never been real successful but I was determined to get it right this time so we are going to try it again so there's our background kind of wobbly so I am cleaning it off because I am doing each layer individually so I want to get that cleaned off and then we will go for the flowers and I want them a little variation so I'm just putting a few different shades of pink out there and just mixing it as I paint it on now this is just craft paint this is not like open acrylics open means it has a longer drying time so I'm doing this in, a, in the winter and not the summer so it's a little less dry but it still um, dries a little too fast I think I didn't have enough of the open acrylic colors to actually I just have some sample ones so I figured I would hurry and put that layer on and we can always add more later So we've got some sloppy sloppy flowers. I put too much paint on that one. Made a big glob as you can see there. And I wasn't thinking I should have put these stems on the two front facing flowers before I put the flower petals on. Oh well. Live and learn, right? Okay, so now we're going to do the greenery. Decided it wasn't worth fighting, we'd just put the petals in the front. There we go. And I have sped this up, but I am trying to be quick because I don't want them to dry on me. These are some real funky abstract flowers. You'll get a good look at them in the end. Alright, so for the centers, I'm going to put a couple of shades of yellow so it's not flat. Just trying to make that nice and round. Got it kind of long and oval. Alright, so there's that one. Kind of uh, kind of an abstract looking one. Okay, so for this next one, I decided I would just cover the whole background and layer, you know, print the layers going forward. So there's our blue background. Did a little ombre and it did get a little dry. Or I didn't have enough paint, I'm not sure. Alright. Just getting off the little bit of blue that's there. And now we're going to put our stems on because they are sitting behind the flowers. And I'm thinking this, which is thinking right, 
But then on that one that's facing the other direction, I think I'd do that one too. So. Do I remember not to put the part of that? Mm. Maybe I remembered. I don't know. There's somewhere I messed that up. I know I do. All right. So now we've got our stems on. Looking better than the other one already. <laughs> okay, so I decided I wanted some more color on those leaves. See, this is where I do that one. Yeah. Oop, that added a little bit more color. See here. That see, I knew I did it. <laughs> Not doing too bad at aiming, getting those lined up, which is good. Because even with the tape marks there, it's still hard to do it. Unless your head is like straight above the thing, which then all you'd see is my head. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I think my camera died as I was doing that one. So I just got the first layer of flowers down. and There you go. And then um, putting more color down because it dried really fast. I still have blue and I want to get more color. So I'm adding a little white to that neon to make it a little bit more opaque. Hoping it will cover some more. I'm going to smush that on again. This time I'm looking at it so I make sure I get paint where the blue is. And I have to like think about this because it's backwards. Alright, we'll try it again. A little bit better. I think I've decided it's good enough. So now we're going to go for the yellow. Hopefully we didn't put too much yellow and make it squish out funny. Oh, we did. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't get enough time looking at that, but like I said, you'll see them all in the end, at the very end of the video. Keep wanting to put some yellow in the flower in the center. Oh yeah, so this is the um, the last way, and you put the what's going to be on top on first, and then you let them dry. And I'm putting white behind the yellow because yellow is pretty translucent, and I want to make sure that it shows up with all the other colors that are going to go on top of it. Well, just a couple of colors, but. Um, yeah, so now yeah, I'm just going to build up the entire painting on here and just let it dry as I go. And this paint is drying pretty fast on me, so it doesn't take long.
you can see I've added some white to that neon pink just because that neon pink is so transparent that um, it wouldn't show up. Alright, so we're going to add some more color to these flowers. I think this particular one for um, recreating um, something more perfectly okay perfect isn't a good word for stuff I do but <laughs> crisp lines it's all lined up it's not offset um, as good as I can get it I guess would be the word um, this is gonna get you a more accurate um, anyway a more accurate technique <laughs> how's that And here I'm just adding this white and I don't even know what color that was just to make it more opaque so that whatever I put over the top of this background doesn't show through So I've got those all covered to my liking, and now we're going to go in and finish the leaves. And yes, I did wait for the flowers to dry. It didn't take very long. I did that even though that's supposed to be on the other side. I think I did some on the other side as well. This made me feel better to put it on there. <laughs> Wasn't sure that one was going to be the same color as all the rest. Still not sure. Can't remember now. I don't know. I guess I felt like I needed an extra coat. <laughs> smooth out my petals all right so I did wait for it to dry and now I'm taking this is a heavy body paint this is Golden's titanium buff and um, I did end up putting a little too much on here so I do have to brayer it off you don't see me do that but I take it and I get, take a little off and then I stick the paper down and you do have to push pretty good and you want it to sit there for a little while and um, you'll see I I attempt to lift it up and it's not coming up so I just stick it back down see not coming up okay stick it back down and rub it a lot more let it wait sit there a little bit longer that's nah, still not there okay keep working it it's almost there <laughs> okay I've pushed pushed and let it sit and here we go um, the yellow didn't come up very well but the rest of it did and here are the other two anyways I think they were a lot of fun the last one I think is my favorite tell me what you think 
I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like, feel free to share, comment, and if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.